Hello everyone, I am Dr. Prapanna, a practicing hair restoration surgeon at Vikraft Cosmetics and Hair Implantation in Kormangala, Bangalore. Local anesthetics are used for pain control and also to reduce anxiety during any surgical procedure that is performed. The patient is comfortable and allows the surgeon to perform the procedure with ease. Hair transplantation is a minor surgical procedure. Prior selection and administration of anesthetic agent for surgery is important. The operating physician should be aware of the dose, action, duration and potential toxicity. At our center, we use short-acting and long-acting local anesthetic agents that is lidocaine and bupivacaine which is diluted with normal saline and later adrenaline is added externally to achieve vasoconstriction. Coming to lidocaine, it is a short-acting anesthetic agent commonly used in hair transplant. It has a quick onset of action of 2 to 4 minutes. The effects last for 30 to 60 minutes. The duration of action is longer when combined with adrenaline and can last for about 120 minutes. Now, the recommended total dose of lidocaine is about 300 mg in cases of tumescent anesthesia. The amount can be increased when combined with epinephrine to about 500 mg. Coming to bupivacaine, it is a long acting anesthetic agent used commonly in hair transplant. Bupivacaine has a slower onset of action as compared to lidocaine and has a longer duration of action around 120 to 240 minutes. Usually for field blocks, 0.25% bupivacaine is used while for peripheral blocks, we can use a concentration of about 0.5%. Now coming to the techniques of local anesthetic administration in hair transplant. Before administering anesthesia directly into the scalp, we administer regional blocks which anesthetizes the nerve that supply a major portion of the donor as well as the implanted areas. By giving regional anesthetic blocks, we can reduce the delivery of anesthesia directly into the tissue. Now, for the donor area, we give a regional block by blocking the lesser and greater occipital nerves and for the frontal hairline area and the center, we can block the supraorbital and supratrochlear nerves. Anesthesia is given using the finest needles in titrated quantities during hair transplantation. 